I am Angel Zapata Martin and this is a Great British Chef's signature series. The fact that I wanted to become a chef is because my mom uh, cooks horrible. <laughs> when I was going to my uncle's house, uh, there are certain things that I love that in my mom's house I hate. So I just thought uh, it must be something behind the food that makes something to feel de delicious or to taste horrible. This dish, I can tell you, is one of my favorite things to eat and to cook. The thing with rice is so family style, so convivial, and it brings a, an amazing feeling to the table, you know. Hello, uh, my name is Angel Zapata. Uh, we are at Parrillan, uh, Borough, uh, Borough Market, Borough Yards, and today I'm going to cook arroz de primavera, which in, uh, in Spanish means uh, spring. What I love about this dish is, uh, again, the seasonality. So you can see the batch of ingredients we are going to use for this dish. In my hands we have a British asparagus from uh, Wee Valley. We have some uh, British uh, fresh peas, some broad beans, some girols, some morels to emphasize uh, the, the dish is a pure vegetarian, so we are going to use a uh, vegetable stock. Celeriac, carrots, onions, uh, leeks, we roast all these veggies in the, in the char grill and then we have a very intense uh, vegetable stock. So, we are going to start with asparagus. So, the, the asparagus are already cooked, but I like to sear it a little bit uh, to get a little bit of color. So, if I'm searing it now, I already add the flavor of the, of the asparagus into the dish. So once the asparagus has these colors, I will put aside and I will add into the arroz 5-6 minutes before the rice is completely cooked. So you can see the color. A little bit of salt and pepper, just a little bit. So we are going to add now the, the mushrooms, all at the same time, no problem. Okay, and we are going to cook in the same fat that we cook first the asparagus. Also, I am going to be adding already the ñora. The flavor and the color that is going to bring to our arroz is going to be fantastic. Ñora basically is a dry red pepper. When it's the harvest, you pick it up and then you put in a string and then you keep it uh, drying for the whole year. And once you need it, just as wrap one, soak in water and ready to use. So remember to be adding a little bit of salt in all this process. Stir from time to time. Once it's uh, quite fried, we will add a little bit of the mushroom sofrito, our base, which is gonna give uh, the whole flavor into the rice as well, and it's gonna help to the texture. This mushroom sofrito is done with the same mushrooms of the garnish, shallots and uh, leeks. The things that start uh, sticking on the pan means that the caramelization is there. Okay, we are gonna add now the rice, completely dry. Uh, this is a sharing dish, so approximately 120 grams. This process right now is super important for the result of the rice. So if we don't fry it properly now when it's dry, it's gonna be overcooked very easy and then it's not gonna be the best. You can see already like a white dots in the middle of the grains. That means that the rice is uh, ready to add some liquid. Okay, we are gonna add a bit of a uh, sherry wine, dry sherry. Before we add uh, the, the, the vegetable stock, Okay, we have to make sure that all the alcohol from the sherry wine is evaporated. Otherwise, it's gonna leave uh, very strong elements of uh, alcohol. So now by hearing the rice, I can see that the wine is already gone because it's frying again the rice. This is the moment where I should be adding the stock. Okay, and when you put the stock, the rice has to immediately be boiling. So usually, the weight of rice has to be multiplied by three uh, in a stock. So very important, uh, for this kind of arroces, this is not a risotto, you have to stir at the beginning, but then you don't move anymore. You just leave the rice to cook by, the, the, by themselves. Now is the uh, moment to, to, to try the arroz and to see if the, so, the, the seasoning is, uh, is, is there or is missing something. It's very normal that uh, this dish is very sweet because of is everything is vegetables, okay, and everything is caramelized, so caramelized means the sugars. So it's very important that we are not scared about adding salt, but there is a moment where uh, you don't have to add more salt. It's going to have always a sweet element, so don't panic, this is how it is. Put a bit of pepper, it's interesting also, the arroces, I don't know why, but I always like with the high content in pepper give something special and now as I said it's seven minutes in the stove which is a uh, three minutes away and after we are gonna put in the oven 
before I put it in the oven, I will add all the elements, all the green elements. Fresh peas and the broad beans. Ready for the oven. So just before uh, you put the rice in the oven, make sure your oven is in the 200, 220 degrees Celsius. I can see that the rice is almost there. However, I can feel it a bit dry for this type of a rice. So I will be adding a little bit of a stock. Just make sure that the stock is hot, no problem. And then we will keep cooking for another two, three minutes. So we make sure that when the stock is ready, it's not too dry. Let's see if the rice is ready. You always should try before making any decision. It's perfect. Uh, you can see it's still bubbling, so and there is a lot of caramelization in there. However, you can see that some other parts are a bit uh, juicy. No worries. Some parts are more roasted, some parts are more wet, but the whole dish is gonna be is gonna be good. And I would always recommend uh, you to leave to rest the rice at least three to four minutes. We always serve with a bit of aioli, which is very traditional for any kind of rice. Okay, so I recommend to put just a little spoon on the top. And then when we are going to serve to our guests, I would always recommend to mix all this aioli to, to go all the flavors are around the rice. And I always like to put a little bit of egg chives in circles. And here we have our arroz de primavera.